Hey there, good people. It's your Cripple Critic, and this week I'm going to talk about an indie game called Glitch Tigers. So, Glitch Tigers is a strange sort of driving game about driving alone at night and having deep philosophical conversations with strangers you pick up on the side of the road. The game was made by a small development team in Canada and published by a company called Silver String Media. The lead writer and designer is a guy named Lucas J.W. Johnson. He was said to be inspired by driving alone at night on the freeway and just the introspective thoughts that came with the experience. Now, Good Tikers has a really unique atmosphere, and you can probably tell right off the bat that it was inspired by David Lynch's sort of dreamy-like dialogue. But I also want to point out some of the similarities it has to a podcast called Welcome to Night Vale. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it's this surreal sort of podcast set in a mysterious desert town that's narrated through the community radio station host who kind of talks about out of the ordinary events in the town. I honestly couldn't find any definitive evidence online that said that the game was inspired by Welcome to Night Vale, but the game just had a really similar feel and with the style of the DJ's voice and everything, I just feel like I had to bring it up. Not to mention, whenever I try to describe to people the style of Welcome to Night Vale, all I can think of is Glitch Hikers. So if you're a fan of Welcome to Night Vale, definitely try this game out, and vice versa. Anyway, Glitch Hikers is on PC only, and it has extremely simple gameplay and controls. Uh, you use the keyboard, uh, to change lanes, you press A or D, you press W and S to change your speed, uh, and you press Q and E to look left and right. Most importantly though, you'll be using the mouse to click on dialogue options every time you get a new hitchhiker. The dialogue choices are kind of timed, uh, and if you don't click them soon enough, they'll just pick a random answer for you, something you should probably be aware of. I should probably say that I personally use a third-party program that lets me customize and remap keyboard keys and the mouse buttons to this controller that I had plugged up to the PC, and because of that, I had a really easy time playing the game. But technically, Glitch Hikers didn't really give you an option to customize any of the controls on its own, something I really do think it needed. On the surface, it does seem like it has limited controls, but I can tell you that most of the interactivity is completely optional. Glitch Hikers is kind of an on-rails type thing, so it's constantly going in the same direction, and no matter what you do, you'll get to the end of the game. So things like changing the speed or changing lanes aren't technically necessary to beat the game, in fact, you can probably play the whole game with just a mouse, you just won't be able to experience everything in the game. So I would say that gamers with fine motor skill impairments shouldn't have much trouble playing this. Visually, I wouldn't say you would have much trouble either, though the game is at night and it doesn't have a brightness feature, but the only real important thing that needs to be seen is the dialogue, and it has nice, bright, and big font. Very visible, and something I noticed is that the subtitles show even when the main character blinks, like the subtitles show bright even in the darkness. Kind of an interesting feature, and not something you see often. Also, when you hover over each answer, the game will give you a more detailed explanation of each answer, which is kind of nice. Now, there are moments in the game that have these bright flashes and little glitches that cover the screen. They're kind of triggered randomly. For me, it's hard to tell whether a game like this needs a seizure warning because so many games already have seizure warnings for little things, but I have heard from a few people that it could cause seizures for people who are already may be prone to having them. I had an opportunity to do a playthrough of the game with my boyfriend, who actually has epilepsy, but he didn't see or mention anything that made him feel uncomfortable. Still, fair warning to anyone who might be a little more sensitive to that sort of thing. I think the biggest problem that disabled gamers will run into has to do with the audio in the game. You see, Glitch Tigers is all atmosphere, and a lot of that has to do with the sound, like music and the dialogue. Now I did mention that there are dialogue options in the game, and they are subtitled nicely, but there aren't any captions, and that means that ambient sound and song lyrics don't have any subtitles at all. Even worse is that the radio host didn't have any subtitles, so essentially deaf players won't be able to see what he's saying or even that he's talking at all, which is a major bummer. To me, he just sets the mood for the entire game. 
I really think that deaf players won't get the same experience if they don't know what he's saying. We don't always have control over our lives, over what happens to us, but we do control how we react. Accept, grow, live, love, hide, fade, wither, wizen, embrace, fight. You are all alone out there, but you know, you're never alone. Millions of distinct bacteria share your body. You're never alone. Keep driving, driver. Turtles all the way down is up next. Still, technically, I think you can really play the game without hearing any of that or seeing the dialogue. I just think you won't have as good experience as all. Overall, though, this game is really cool. Bizarre and creepy at times, but also strangely calming. If you ever had the experience of driving home alone or being in a passenger seat as you're driving with someone on a deserted road at night, I think you'll relate. It's also really short. You can finish the game in under 20 minutes, but there's actually a lot of replay value. On each different playthrough, you'll have different hitchhikers that'll show up and new dialogue. I really just have the one gripe about not having a captions option, but I mean, that is understandable for such a small, independent team. I mean, other than that, they create something pretty unique. Glitz Hikers is available on PC and Mac, and it's basically free, with the option of paying what you want on their website. I seriously recommend giving this game a try. It's definitely worth your while. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.